Hi there, Oscar Carmona, owner of Healing Ground Certified Biodynamic Nursery located in beautiful Santa Barbara, California, here to talk to you today about how to make a composter from a barrel. Contained compost systems are a good way to go if you live in a tight in, uh, home environment that is a small yard. If you have rodent concerns or just aesthetics, you know, you want something that's not going to look like an eyesore close by your uh, kitchen door. Here in front of me I have a, a Tupperware container and it's basically a worm bin with worms in it and I use a lot of my kitchen scraps in there. The thing with a system like this, uh, it's understood that you're creating a decent volume of green waste and that's usually not just your kitchen scraps which is ideal for a worm bin as I said, but also uh, perhaps uh, grass clippings uh, and leaves in particular. And um, when you're uh, composting uh, at this volume, you're gonna, and it uh, includes a lot of green waste from your kitchen, you're gonna wanna use some dry material in there, whether that's straw or again, using strips from the newspaper. If you have newspaper, access to newspaper, avoid the, the glossy print. Uh, but all the rest of the newspaper is uh, fair game. Do not uh, be concerned about lead in the, in the ink because all inks are soy-based as far as newsprint is concerned. So you're basically um, layering your compost. As you add green waste from your kitchen, you're going to then add a nice layer of dry material, whether that be straw or uh, newspaper clippings. If you happen to have access to manure, such as chicken manure or horse manure, you can add a little bit of that. With a large uh, container like this, it's important to make sure that you have enough um, aeration through the column of the material as it starts to accumulate. So not only do you want to put holes in the bottom, and basically you can use a 5 16th type bit that's small enough, op large enough I should say, to allow oxygen and small enough to provide um, um, blocking out any potential rodent entries. And I would go uh, up uh, the column of the side of the, of the container, maybe every five inches, adding another hole, something like that. And then every like uh, 10 inches around the circumference of the uh, container itself is sufficient. You don't have to riddle it with holes. You don't necessarily need to put worms in a, in a system like this, although you could do that to add to the speed at which the material composts. It's not necessarily a good system to have on your cement patio, for example, but if you could have it over a, a ground area where it can drain into the ground, maybe the side of a garden is a good option. And you could put a lid on here to keep it um, uh, rodent proof. And then every three to four months, every season, you could tip this bin over and pour out the materials and whatever material looks like dirt where you can't recognize what it is you put in there is pretty much composted. The rest of the material is what we call mulch and you can reinvest it in your, your bin or use it as mulch in your garden. It's a real, I think, important uh, reconnecting back to your garden and uh, and showing how you can use what is potentially seen as, uh, has been seen as garbage to an important food for your plants that you're enjoying for your dinner guests uh, with that amazing flavor. Or if you want to maximize on the nutrition potential for your plantings in your garden, it's uh, only as good as the quality of the soil. I'm Oscar Carmona, owner of Healing Ground Certified Biodynamic Nursery. Happy gardening.